Welcome back and happy Mother's Day weekend. Today Sandra is going to show you how to make a mixed hanging basket. Hi, this is Sandra from The Flower Spot. This week we will be concentrating on doing a mixed basket. And what you need, what we're using this week is a 12 inch hanging basket, um, the same as the previous week. And we're going to do mixed. A mixed basket means a variety of plants. What we're using here are plants for a sunny location. Uh, most of our sunny baskets, we always start off with a geranium in the middle. Um, what I always do is look to see if there's any buds. So, and then the nice little buds we don't want because what's going to happen is that bud is, go is going to take the strength of the plant going into the bud instead of getting a nice bushy plant. So geranium goes in the middle. Next we are using Thimbergia. People know Black Eye Susan. Same thing. You're going to pinch off any blooms and you're going to pinch off the growing stem because that's just going to help it bush. You always squeeze the pot a few times just to make it easy and you're not ripping the roots out. Sometimes you may find it easier just to have a nice wet pot. That way um, they tend to slip out better. Any old leaves, make sure you pinch them off. Um, as well, even the sweet potato vine. Most people don't realize you can take the growth stem out and that will help make the plant bushier. And I usually start with baskets putting one plant across from the other and you can make the baskets as simple or as complicated as you like. If I have a trailing plant on this side, I usually put a different trailing plant on that side. Myself personally, I do not like two colors the same beside each other. We are doing a kind of a red pattern today, so I'm sticking to reds, oranges, blues, salmons. So we have orange and then I put meal, which is just foliage. Nice blue trailing lobelia. This lobelia is a sun lobelia. It's done from a rooted cutting. It's not done from seed. Everything you see we use here in our baskets is done from a cutting. So it's a much stronger plant. Takes the weather conditions a lot better. Uh, with lobelia, you can be nice and pinch off every little stem. Or honestly, it doesn't hurt the plant. You can give it a twist. So all the stems have been cut that way and it get nice and bushy. So this is a vinca vine. So this is going to get nice and long. No flowers, but it, it's a nice long plant. And this is a good one to know. It takes sun or shade. It's, so it's very versatile. You can get away with this lobelia that I just showed you a few minutes ago. It is a sun lobelia, but it will do well in shade or sun. So again, Two trailing plants going across from each other. We're going to end up with a calvicola and a verbena. They're both actually red in color, red verbena, red calvicola. So pinch the tips off, plant it, and like I said in the previous video, plant on a slight angle and that promotes it to branch over. And as well, I should mention, um, most plants have a tendency to want to go one way or the other so make sure you you can see this verbena kind of wants to go this way so you're going to plant that to the outside of the pot like that so you can see everything's going to be trailing over everything is pinched this soil here has slow release fertilizer in it if it doesn't you should add fertil slow release fertilizer osmocote into the soil just for an added touch and as well, fertilize at least once a week. You're going to have to water minimum of once a day and twice a day when it's hot, morning and evening. And even sometimes just check if we have, you know, 33 degree temperatures, even check that third time. Better to water too much than too little.